In DesignX, you can also create 3D sketch or 3D mesh sketch. Difference between the two is like in 2D sketch. Either it's on the sketch, it, either it's on the mesh, or it's outside of the mesh. So if I go to a 3D sketch, I will make a standard 3D sketch first. And here I can create a spline. So I can start from here and there, right mouse click to stop. And then from that endpoint, I can continue here. If now I put the mouse on that, you can see that there is only two points, start point and end points, and it's maybe not on the mesh because we don't recognize mesh here. We use it as input, but not necessarily as a constraint. So, and then here I can create other splines like from here to there to stop and there to there. And you can also uh, define John at intersection. So, define those points and each time you have to press right mouse key to stop it then here you can do maybe a spline at the bottom here by selecting multiple points again you are not sure that they are all they are all on the mesh but you are sure that you're doing a sketch uh, with the straight lines okay so i just built my sketch and i can use that curse maybe to trim a surface or, or do whatever I want. Uh, you can also, if you create a spline here, uh, use the offset if you want to offset that curve. So you need to use a base entity to do that. Uh, so here I just have a plane on the parts here that has been done before. And if I make an offset here, I can select the curve first the base entity which is the plane which is below here and then the curve which is that one and i want to make a 0.5 millimeter offset so direction one direction two or both directions and i can also remove the original curve if i need to okay now i can also make another spline right here from here to there and maybe trim the curve so you trim with the curve or trim the short portion of curves Okay, but for to do that, I need to uh, define a connection between those curves. And here you see it's not connected. So if I do that and I make another spline from that point to that point to that point, I can make a trim now, big portion of the curve, and that one, that one, and that one has been removed. If I hide my mesh, I can see that that it is trimmed. Same with extend, I can select the curve here for the spline and define the, the length of the, the extension. So here, two millimeters by tangency, curvature, reflectivity. Uh, you choose the, 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 the way you want to extend it. Now I can use also the split function. Split will split the curve in two curves or three curves, but depends how you want to do it. I can pick a point to make a split like here or there or there. I can split the curve at a point of intersection. So I got no point in, of intersection right now, so I cannot use it. But I can use here the plane of face intersection points. So the curve is going to be that one. The plane, I can display my planes and I will use that one here. And I press OK and it splits the curve or whatever features I want to use. So I can, as in 2D sketch, I can use the merge function by selecting the two curves here. I will merge it to the two ends here. So that one and that one would be merged to one. Now, what is more important here, and what is more interesting is to use 3D sketch, but mesh sketch. And we are working now on the mesh. So if I do roughly the same thing as before, I'm going to make a spline between that point and that point, right mouse kick and right point and that point. Here I can go in that direction. I'm over 50, 50 degrees, so it will split automatically. And that one also, and that one also, and that one, maybe not. So I will right mouse click. But now if I put the mouse on the curve, you can see that I got many control points because the software snap automatically the curve on the mesh. So now that means if I try to make a curve from here to there, 
the software doesn't allow me to go outside of the mesh. So you can use this function if you want to fit patches and things like that on the part and just define the, the main functions here. 